With Apple's WWDC conference coming up, rumors are swirling about the event. The biggest one is probably the augmented reality headset, sure, but the other big rumor is a 15-inch version of Apple's MacBook Air, a size they've never made an Air in before. I think it's really exciting, and here's why it might be exciting for you. So the MacBook Air comes in one screen size right now, 13 inches. However, there have been rumors for at least the past 10 years off and on that Apple is gonna make a 15 inch size of this iconic laptop, something that's still thin, still light, still not super expensive, but gives you a bigger screen. Even though we don't have a 15 inch Air yet, this is not the first time Apple has thought about breaking away from the 13 inch size in the Air. You might remember back from about 2010 to 2016, Apple made an 11 inch MacBook Air, which was a very cool, super portable system. We've reviewed many versions of them over the years. And then after that, they actually made a 12 inch MacBook, no Air, just MacBook. And that little guy ended up becoming, I think one of my favorite laptops of all time. Those are both discontinued now, but I remember them fondly. And I think there's a lot of room for different sizes of MacBooks. Now, the interesting thing is Apple does not currently make a 15 inch laptop, even though the 15 inch MacBook Pro was a standard for many years. Back in 2019, they discontinued that 15 inch MacBook Pro. They replaced it with a 14 inch model and a 16 inch model. So right now, Apple has a 13, a 14, and a 16. They don't have the 15, they don't have anything smaller. Of course, they still don't have the classic 17 that was discontinued many, many, many years ago, but people still ask me about. So if Apple did make a 15-inch MacBook Air, it would actually have a nice slot in the lineup to fit into. It would actually make sense. You could have a 13, a 14, a 15, and a 16, and they would alternate, you know, Air Pro, Air Pro. I think that's kind of an interesting idea. Now, why would I need a 15-inch MacBook Air? Now, I say quite often that the current 13-inch MacBook Air, the M2 model, is probably the single most universally useful laptop most people can buy. And that remains true. However, it's a little small to be your all-day, everyday laptop, especially if you're working from a home office or you're traveling a lot or you have it set up in your you know, actual workspace. The screen is just a little bit on the small side, especially if, like me, you have kind of aging eyes and you find yourself bumping up the zoom size and documents to see a bigger screen actually becomes a lot more important. And if you could take a 15-inch screen and put it onto a MacBook Air, then you could have the universal utility of a MacBook Air but a screen size that's, you know, a little bit bigger for those of us who just need to see a little bit better. That's especially important because those larger MacBook Pros that you can get, they're really expensive. The 14-inch model starts at $2,000. The 16-inch model starts at $2,500. That is a far cry from $1,199 for the M2 MacBook Air or even $999 for the old M1 MacBook Air, which you can still buy. If you could find a happy medium somehow where you had a MacBook Air that had essentially the same specs and components as the 13-inch version, but a bigger 15-inch screen size didn't necessarily need to be more powerful, maybe you could get away with starting that at $1,300 or $1,400, maybe even a little bit more, but that's about where I would, you know, cap the starting price for something like that. I think that's a pretty happy medium right there where you could combine that utility and travel friendliness of the Air, but the bigger screen that you could really only get right now in the much more expensive MacBook Pros. This is not the first time I've spent a lot of time thinking about a 15-inch MacBook Air. I did a little bit of Google searching and found that I'd written an article about why it would be a great idea way back in 2012 based on a poll of CNET readers where they told us their most anticipated 2012 laptop would be a 15-inch MacBook Air. Ah, we might have been about a decade too early on that, but better late than never, and I still think it's a great idea. For more on WWDC, upcoming MacBook Airs, all our MacBook Air and other laptop reviews, check out some of the links below.